Hey guys, I'm Jake, and this is your Atlas Weekly for Wednesday, May 21st. This week, the wait is over. Forever Evil 7 is finally here, along with the final issue of Justice League of America, which leads into Justice League United, as well as Justice League proper. Saga number 19 is also out this week, concluding another long wait. What more can I say? It's one of the best books coming out right now. Despite my event phobia, I've been really enjoying Original Sin. Number two is out this week, and it does in fact answer the question, who currently holds the eye? Deadpool Annual number two is also out this week. It's a really fun book where he teams up with Spider-Man, but very quickly, Spider-Man's removed from the equation and Deadpool has to dress up as Spider-Man, web shooters and all, and of course, hijinks ensue. Electra 2 is also out this week. The art is gorgeous. It's totally worth checking out if you're a fan of the old school classic Sienkiewicz stuff. I've also got lots of number one left if you're interested. The new Axe Cop miniseries, American Choppers, starts this week. If you've seen the cartoon on Fox, you know it's pretty fun. If you like hilarity, gotta check it out. There's a new Millar World entry from Image this week. It's called MPH. It's about a guy who gets busted by the cops but finds a drug that gives him superpowers in jail. Archaea brings us the last broadcast number one. It's a seven issue miniseries about urban explorers who discover a secret bunker underneath San Francisco. Meanwhile, there's magicians. This book is crazy. The art is awesome. It's totally worth checking out if you want something fresh. This Joker bus bank is our featured toy of the week. But for now, I'm gonna throw it over to Darren. Thanks, Jake. My picks of the week this week come from Image Comics. East of West 12 and Invincible 111 are out this week. Both are great entry points into the series. I definitely recommend both. New 52, Future's End, is rolling on this week. It's a great book, and it gets better and better as it goes along. I would definitely check it out with the switching artists every couple of issues. It, it makes things more exciting. Scott Snyder's American Vampire, issue three, is out this week. It is awesome, great writing, great illustration. I would definitely check this one out. Paul Dini is back, ladies and gentlemen, and I am thrilled. Zatanna, Black Canary, Bloodspell, an original graphic novel brought to you by the man who created Batman the Animated Series. It's awesome, and I would definitely check it out. Don't forget, we have uh, Harley Quinn number six, another of Paul Dini's creations. I would definitely check it out if you're fans of the character. And now back to Jake with a look at graphic novels this week. My graphic novel pick of the week is Mind Management Volume 3. It's one of my absolute favorite books coming out right now. Matt Kent is rocking it on this book. I've got one and two. If you're a fan of espionage, mystery, and cool indie style, it's a must have. Coffin Hill Volume 1 is out from Vertigo this week. It's a $10 first trade that includes the first seven issues. It's about a woman who is a descendant of witches and grows up to be a homicide cop but uh, disappearing girls that echo her haunting teenage past cause her to investigate further. For your chance to win one of these two awesome bus banks, you just need to hop onto your social media platform of choice, tell us what publishers your favorite, be it Marvel, DC, Image, etc. Tag us or use hashtag Atlas Weekly and a random winner will be chosen. On next week's video, we'll announce the winners. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to hit us up on your social media platform of choice and these guys, or these guys, something in this vicinity, por favor. Okay, I'll read that better. What else do I see? Animated, uh, I can do better than that. This is one of the, uh, 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 okay. That, that, and I completely botched that. I'm just gonna cut that out. Let me start that over again. The, the, the. Be sure to hit us up on your social media of choice. Tag us, hashtag Atlas Weekly. I just said hashtag. I need to write myself a script. Something in this vicinity, por favor.